it's a new rock and rolls town. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. And today I'm going to do another wee dish for you, Spanish chicken. Um, very, very simple to make. It takes about an hour to cook, 10 to 15 minutes to prepare. Very, very straightforward. Firstly, I'll wash my hands. Um, just make sure they're all clean. And I say this is very, very easy to make. Not a lot of ingredients as you can see here, but the depth and flavour you get from the, the chorizo is fantastic. So all we've got is chicken thigh meat. Don't use chicken breast, it's just the wrong texture. There's not enough fat content in it, so just use the chicken thigh meat. Your butcher will chop it up for you into just nice bite-sized pieces. We've got a red onion, a red pepper, chorizo. This is sort of the cooked chorizo, which is quite firm. It just fries up nicely. Um, some baby potatoes, a tin of chopped tomatoes, a tin of, these are butter beans, you can use whatever beans you want, cannellini, uh, haricot beans, whatever. Some paprika, tomato puree, chicken stock cube and garlic. I say I'll put all the recipe and uh, amounts on the, the website. So firstly, we'll get the, the onions and the pepper started. So again, this is a rustic dish, so there's no there's no fancy cutting, just chop your onion up, uh, just in the sort of chunks. You could use a white onion for this here, but a red onion is gives it a nice bit of flavour. And as, as you see over here, we've got a, a sort of heavy cast iron saucepan. So I'm just going to put a small bit of olive oil in it and start off with the onions. Start them off. Just give them a wee mix. And then we'll go back and the peppers again. Just nice big bite-sized chunks. Very, very rustic dish. Again, we'll put these in and just get these softening along with the onions. I'll just give it a bit more heat. Right. So the pan's getting good and hot now. What we're going to do now is add the chorizo, and that'll bring out the, the real sort of paprika hot taste of the chorizo. So get that frying nice and hot, and just let it sort of sweat down. And I'll just prepare the other ingredients. So, clove of garlic. Again, just roughly chopped, but sort of smallish chop anyway. You don't want sort of bite into a big half a clove of garlic. So again, just again, watch your fingers. So just a run the knife through three or four times. And we'll put the garlic in as well. You can start to smell the chorizo coming back through now. And if you want to look in there just to see the colours. Okay, so now we've got the, the butter beans. I'm just going to give these a, a sort of rinse. Just below the, below the tap, just to take the, the liquid off them. Give them a quick rinse. Just set them. We'll come back to them. We'll add them later on. So again, the, this is now sweating down nicely. Good hot heat. You want to hear that sizzle. Everyone's in there. You've got the peppers, the red onions, the chorizo. The chorizo's releasing the sort of the oils in it, and you can smell it. It's starting to come through now. Now we're going to add it. And there's my dog. If anybody likes dogs. That's artsy. Okay, I'm just going to add some, you can add smoked paprika or normal paprika. This is just a wee bit of smoked paprika. Just a couple of wee shakes. Again, this just brings out the flavour of the chorizo. That's probably enough. Again, give it a mix. Colours are fantastic. And that's all starting to soft up, soften up now. Next, again, the chicken thigh meat. Again, don't use chicken breast, it's just the wrong texture. 
twice the price. This gives you twice as much um, volume as chicken breast. So just get your local butcher to dice it into nice bite-sized pieces and just coat that in the chorizo oil. That's all the oil is coming out now. So just turn that up a wee bit more and let that cook for another wee minute. Potatoes, just very, very simple. You can do it with a small knife. Just cut them in sort of small, small pieces. Or if you want to do it with a, on the board. Just depending on the size of your potatoes, just cut it up to a, the size of your thumbnail. Again, there's maybe five, six potatoes here. But this recipe, that was four chicken legs. We'll make for four, five, six people easily. And with a nice glass of chilled white wine, it should be nice. Okay, so that's the potatoes, nearly done. So I'll put this, the amounts on the, the website for you to follow. I say it's 10 minutes we'll make this, um, 45 minutes to an hour to cook it. And if you start at sort of 5, 6 o'clock, it'll be ready for Coronation Street. And sit down and watch Coronation Street. Okay, so that's the potatoes now done up. We'll give this another stir. And you almost want it to sort of catch in the bottom. Don't let it burn, but just sort of all those wee bits at the bottom, just keep scraping them out. That's where you get all the flavor. If you can remember, color is flavor. So split that right down. And all the chicken's nicely coated. Starting to take on the flavors. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with our chopped tomatoes. Again, these are ones, doesn't have to be with basil, but um, they are great. So one tin of chopped tomatoes, and then with the tin, just rinse it out, and another full tin of water. So you can see all sort of, plenty of liquid in there now, but I say with the potatoes and the the haricot beans, sorry, the butter beans, that'll soak that all up. So at this stage we're going to give it a wee salt. Don't season it too much because the chorizo could be quite salty. So just a couple of pinches of salt, some ground pepper, and then we're going to add our potatoes. Again, these will take 30-35 minutes to cook, but you're not going to boil it too fast, you're just going to let it simmer. Just a bit of garlic. And one wee ingredient just to add about 20 30 grams of tomato puree. It just gives it a wee bit of body to probably two tablespoons of tomato puree. Just mix that in. Gives it a lovely colour as well again and then the butter beans and there's enough there for five five people five good portions in there we might add a wee bit more liquid to it in a bit just if it's absorbing at all so we've got it all all ready there and just one chicken stock cube again you don't need to dissolve this this will dissolve and just crumble it into it Mix it in, and that's it. That was probably no more than 10 minutes cooking there. Just getting it all ready. We'll just put a lid on it. Turn it down to sort of a quarter of a flame. And we'll probably stir it after maybe 15 minutes. Uh, and that'll be ready in about one hour. So we'll come back to it shortly, okay? Okay folks, uh, an hour's up, um, 
I've stirred it two or three times just to make sure it hasn't caught, but you could also cook it in the oven, just put it in the oven, 160 degrees, an hour and a half, hour and three quarters, um, it'd be the same job, it means you could just leave it. Here you sort of have to keep, keep an eye on it. Um, the smells from it, the chorizo, are fantastic, just fill in the kitchen and it's all ready. I mean, it's got everything in it. And I say you could use yellow peppers, you could put courgettes in it, you could add a wee bit more fresh chili to it. But just scoop out some sauce, some chicken, potatoes, meat, a bit of everything. If you could smell this now, and that's it. And then you could finish it with some, my favorite would be chopped coriander. Not everybody's taste, but I have just some parsley here. And a, a few chives. Just sprinkle it on top. You can use basil, use whatever you want. And that's it folks. This will bring a smile to your face. Honestly, the smells from it, the taste is fantastic. So just get a wee bit, let's just taste it here. Shouldn't need any more salt. And it didn't need any more water when I was cooking it. Great. That, front of Coronation Street, two or three episodes. It's fantastic. So that's the Spanish chicken, folks. Um, for next time, I advise you all to go out and buy one of these. Um, 10, 12 pound, Amazon, eBay, fantastic. Um, self, you can self tighter with light ones, but we'll do a creme brulee next time, vanilla creme brulee with fresh raspberries. Um, and I hope you enjoy it and stay safe. Okay, thank you.